Barking, Emily, can you remind us of that? Well, Margaret Hodge uh, retained her seat with a huge majority, actually. A lot of worries about the BNP. This man, Nick Griffin, failed to make any inroads at all when it came to it. Let me show you what happened to the BNP's share of the vote. It actually went down here. If I can just... Uh, I can show you that a little bit later. But Margaret Hodge had warned people that the BNP would uh, split that vote. In fact, she retained it quite safely. And uh, really, Peter, uh, John Cruddus was the same... If I take us on to uh, Dagenham as well, we saw something of a rise for the BNP here, but the man who had challenged uh, for the deputy leadership retaining his seat here, two quite interesting this results. This was an outside chance of a Conservative gain, but in terms of the BNP, 15% in Barking and I think 11% yes, in Dagenham, I was hours ago about how the far right has never got above 17% in a parliamentary election. Go back to Mosley, go back to the National Front, Nick Griffin, and we wondered whether he'd get, get above 20%. No, he didn't. He went back down. That ceiling remains in place. It also means, of course, when we get the London Council results mm. later on today, uh, Barking, where the, uh, where the BNP gained, I think, 11 seats four years ago, it may be they're going to lose some or all of them. Now, London's got more interesting seats. I'm going to show you... Uh, an